Welcome back to Rated J Games, guys. Jay here as always, and today, seeing how Final Fantasy VII won my Twitter poll, I thought of starting at the very beginning with Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. And uh, we're gonna start fresh from the beginning, new save file. I haven't played this game since its release more than, I want to say, 10 years ago, back on the PSP. We are playing it on the, uh, PPSS, PP, <laughs> PSP emulator. It's a lot of letters, wow. Tight groups of hijacked Shinra Express are 93 The train is currently headed to Midgar Sector 8. A soldier operative will be inserted to neutralize the situation. We are to proceed as scheduled. The train has been overrun by Wu Tai troops. Eliminate them and regain control of the train. Oh yeah! Get serious! I love how it starts out just like Final Fantasy VII on the train going into Midgar. Zack, focus. <clears throat> There are no Shinra troops on this train. Understood? <laughs> oh. Hello to you, too! Oh, I love the, uh, the graphics in this. It, it really brings, like, the Final Fantasy Come VII world it. to life. Oh, it's so cool. It is really cool. Soldier second class Zack on the job. I picked to play this first. <clears throat> Hold on. Zack speaking. Making progress, Zack. What's going on, Angeal? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wutai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. Towards Sector 8? Yes, but first you have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. So I can cut loose, right? Use some discretion. It's showtime. Alright, before we start this, I picked this because Zack's story, even though it was present in the original Final Fantasy VII game, it was something that a lot of people really didn't understand or looked over. And, uh,. I think this time around, before we do record the original game, I would like to see, I would like to record Zack's uh, side of things. And since Zack Fair uh, 
was the original Shinra soldier, and, you know, well, Cloud wasn't, he never made soldier, I would like to go through his story and show you the relationship that he has with Cloud, and, uh, just show how Cloud got as messed up as he did in the head in the story of Final Fantasy VII. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start here and kill all these guys. Mind, don't mind me, I have to remember the, uh, controls. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. Like I said, I haven't played this since the release way back when on the PSP. So, yeah, and I probably should shut my phone down because sooner or later my brother is going to call me. And one button problem is solving. Look at that. Not too bad. Piece of cake. I'll make first in no time. Go up the stairs <laughs> at the end of the platform. You got it. Graphically, it reminds me of um, Birth by Sleep. I'm not entirely sure if this came before that or after, but. I mean, either way, it's, for a handheld game, the game is gorgeous. And it's, it's very PS2-esque. I mean, if you do think about the PSP, oh, what's up, but even, if you do think of the PSP, it's kind of between PS1 and PS2 graphical styles, so. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Blizzaga! And that did nothing. <clears throat> oh, I, I, why would you smack me with your tail? That was rude. Oh, I do not know how to turn my camera. I don't think I can. By the way, I am playing on a PS2, a PS4 controller that I do have hooked up to my PC. Stop smacking me! Uh, first boss of the game, guys. Already. I don't think he's really a boss. Uh, I don't need that. Man. He pissed it. Come on, die, please. Oh, uh, this ain't your monster hunter. Uh. Oh no! Oh god, I was looking at the wrong spot for my HP. I, I know you guys can't really see it right now because my cam is uh, covering it, but it's pretty low. Why would you do that? Oh, please stop. Go. Wait, we're just. Ow. Oh, why? But no, please. I always thought the little, um. slot machine that we have there is kind of weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Just... Can you die, please? Oh, yeah. oh there we go. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Showing your back to the enemy. Overconfidence will destroy you. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Sephiroth. <laughs> Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. Who was thinking you need a new sword, Zack? Impossible. Boy, getting past that one.
Uh. <risa> oh, no. Okay, okay, yeah, he didn't. Back to the cutscenes. <coughs> so pretty. Angel. Thanks, Angel. Suffer rough. Oh, aborting the mission. I mean, we did take out the behemoth, so it's all good. I, I kind of want a simulation room. I, I think it'd be over. really cool. Why? Because he said so. You serious? I was just getting warmed up. I'm with a burgered sword, buddy. <laughs> Whew. Time to buy a new Zen. one. Hmm? Embrace your dreams. Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. Hmm. Hmm. That's the whole premise of this story. The whole embracing your dreams, honor thing. For Zack, anyway. He's pretty much the only person that knows what he wants and who he is out of Final Fantasy VII. Everybody else's head's kind of screwy. Please select one of the following. Save. And a save. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. <clears throat> what are we doing, Zach? Doing more squats? Get damn glutes in shape! Hey, you seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this training and no assignments like they're hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy. With everyone off base? Uh, off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? That's probably not good. It appears one of the first deserted. He took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him, too. Nobody knows why he left, or what he's up to. This mass desertion is the reason why your training's on hold. Heads up! A first! Zack, new assignment. Oh, finally! Some real action. This will be your show. Yes. Report to Director Lazard. We'll give you the details. Okay. Now I get the room around the shoot. No, maybe not. <laughs> Zach. It's good to finally meet face to face. Lazard, director of Soldier. Hmm. Hey, yeah. <laughs> On to business. <laughs> Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Hmm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended you for first. <laughs> Angel! Oh, I love you, man! Angel! Don't make me regret this, Zack. Sir! Once you're packed, 
You'll leave at once. Will do, sir. Will do. I'm gonna go kick some Wu Tai butt. The operation will begin immediately upon arrival at Wu Tai. If you have any questions about the assignment or combat in general, you should talk to the other soldier operatives. Okay. I'll tell you everything you need to know. The first thing you have to learn about is combat. You probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining basic combat. You should give it a read. Well, in the game field, you can press triangle to open up the main menu. From the main menu, select mail to read the tutorial mail. Uh, I guess I gotta do that, eh? The oh, hall, those sounds. Oh, the sounds! Brings back so many memories. Jesus. I think I'll do all this off cam. Yep, off cam. Off cam sounds better. So. Okay, on the field, I can turn my cam. Can I just go? Can I, can I just. Can. So did you? Uh, yep, read it off. All of it's been read. Well, knowing you, you probably won't remember everything after one read. That's not true. Well, I'll read it when you need to refresh your memory. It'll come in handy. I promise. By the way, the material you were using in training have been confiscated. Powerful materia have to be earned on your own. Those are the soldier rules makes sense. The next thing you have to know about are the special tasks classified as missions. Put simply, these are errands that the company assigns to soldier operatives. To participate in missions, you have to register your personal information on the mission board. Press X in front of the mission board will allow you to accept missions. Areas that can be checked using X will display a help message. After you register, you can check missions on your handset. Come on, I'll show you how to register on the mission board. Woohoo! Lots of tutorial stuff. Lots of... Oh, open, please. <laughs> Meh! So do I just examine? Thank you. Mission registration accepted. To want to take a mission... Enter a save point and press uh, triangle, then select missions from the main menu. You can only undertake missions when you are at a save point. Okay, now that you're registered, you should try doing a mission. Sounds like a good idea. I'll do that right now. Save point is this way. If you're unsure about combat during missions, you should read the tutorial mail I sent you. Yes, I get it. You want me to do mails. Mailing stuff. Mission. I'm gonna save first. You know, I'm gonna embrace my dreams and all. And make sure I don't die beforehand. But, go here, do missions. Shinra Electric Power Company. Training missions. Shinra's basic training. Okay. This is a simulated battle against infantry men, and the difficulty level is set low, so it should pose no problem for a soldier operative. Relax and enjoy the training. Okay, fine. Activating combat mode. Ah, I'm yeah. back. Hey, you know, oh god. So yeah, you know, we gotta do all this stuff. The beginning is rather boring, but once we get off to the Wu Tai mission and beyond that, it'll be all fine and nifty, and we'll be able to do a lot of stuff. But this game is packed with so much to do, and uh, I don't know if I'm just going to do the story, which is the most likely case, but yeah, we'll see. Looks like you cleared a mission. Nice work. It was so easy, I could have done it blindfolded. Ha ha ha. You're the man, Zack. 
I'll be waiting to hear about your exploits on the Wutai assignment. Oh, I almost forgot. I never explained these supply pods to you, did I? And these supply pods are items you can use in battle. The company sends them to us periodically. I see. They're like provisions for soldier members. It'd be a shame to squander the company's goodwill. Check it out before you go on an assignment. I wonder what they gave us this time. And uh, there we go. We got a bronze bengal. Alright, looks like you're ready to go. Lastly, I'll tell you about mail. God damn it. What about mail? Just now, I sent you. I sent mail to your handset. We can exchange information this way. You can also get messages from Director Lazard and Company News via mail. Check it regularly. And who knows, maybe you'll get a mail from friends you make along the way. But don't just read mail that you get from girls. <laughs> you periodically receive mail from various people. Check your inbox regularly. Well, I guess that's everything. Looks like it's time for you to head out. About damn time. You're going with Angeal, right? Good luck on the assignment. Yeah, thanks for all the information. So, he just sent me a mail, right? So, congrats on your first mail. Now that you've got your mail account, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Midgar construction crop. Uh, yeah, whatever. We could always go back and read them and all that nifty jazz. So do I go in here? Yes, yes we do. And Jill, do, do we go? We have to leave for Wu Tai soon. Are you ready? All set, buddy. I'll be joining you as well. Woohoo! I'm counting on you. Sir! By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. <laughs> ah, good. Unattainable dreams of the best kind. Uh, thanks. That's not nice. Zack could be a hero. Or Tambin is straight ahead. Let's hurry. Buna is standing by. You two, identify yourselves. Just leave it to me. Zack. Yep. Pompous bastard. How can their stick shoot? What the hell? Alright, next. Calm down, Zack. No can do. The director is watching from somewhere, right? I have to make a good impression. Zack. Do you know about dumb apples? No. What is that? Unbelievable. How can you not know about dumb apples? You'll never make first at this rate. Whoa, wait. What are dumb apples? They're dumb apples, Zach. The dumb apples. Oh, that's a little shaky. Activating combat mode. Oh god. Oh, he's a strong guy, oh, yeah. huh? Woohoo! Activating combat mode. Oh, random encounters are so much fun. Oh yeah. Gotta get used to it. Gotta get used to it, Jay. Activating combat mode. So many. Die. Oh yeah. Hey, at least we're uh, 
we're giving our little dial thing chances so to spin and level up. What's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. Oh, story time. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. <laughs> what? That's it? Makes no damn yeah, sense. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. At least not to me. Well, let's go on with our random encounters. Ah, damn, shaky cap. Alright, we're gonna save this one here and continue on in the next episode. But, uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, this episode was mainly for all the tutorial stuff to get that crap out of the way, which I still think there's a little bit more. But, this is the start of my Final Fantasy VII Everything playthrough. And yes, Indie Tibby and, uh,. Vicious Vic. That does mean at some point after I play the original Final Fantasy 7, I will be moving on to Dirge of Service. Yuck. Don't much like that game. But, speaking of not liking a game, the game we're actually playing right now, there are aspects of it I don't really like, but a game as a game for a game as a whole. I love the game. I think uh, playing through Zack's side of the story is really cool. But I don't like the retcons that Square Enix went ahead and made. Uh, they basically forced Gacket down our throats. That Japanese uh, J-pop star or whatever. And uh, that is why you haven't seen this game remastered or whatnot. I really wish someday it will be. But uh, until you know, then with the uh, rights, seeing how Gacket owns the rights to Genesis, we're probably never going to see it happen. But uh, all the retcon parts of the story, I don't think was needed. Um, like... As far as Genesis goes, he's an okay character, but they didn't need to throw him into the revelations with Sephiroth and the Nibelheim incident. I think that was kind of stupid on their part, but uh, either way, it's still a very good game and I'm going to enjoy this playthrough, so I hope you guys enjoy it with me. And, uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that button as well. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.